man, that exhaust is loud. I'm gonna get a new tip for it. Can't take it. So here's the deal. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've got a microphone and a GoPro and a motorcycle. And I'm gonna take you for a ride. Um, I'm not working today, but my ride to work is nice enough that I like to do it on my days off. So, I'm gonna pretend like I know how to vlog, moto vlog, and you can pretend like I know what I'm doing too. Um, it'll probably turn out pretty lame. I'll edit most of it out. And then, uh, I don't know, you can watch it or not. We're heading towards those mountains over there. Whoa, what the hell's all over the road? That's weird. It's really hard to remember to talk. It's like when I went on my trip to Alaska last summer, me and my buddy had um, these headsets, these Senna headsets, and we could communicate the whole time. It was really nice to be able to talk to each other and not have to figure out hand signals to be like, hey, there's a giant moose on the side of the road, don't hit it, that sort of thing. But most of the time you just forget to talk anyway. It's weird to get used to. Um, but anyway, we are in Salt Lake City, Utah, and we are headed towards Big Cottonwood Canyon. I work at one of the ski resorts up there year round. So we're gonna go for a little bit of a ride. Um, it's about 14 miles from the bottom of the canyon to the ski resort where I work and uh, I don't know how far it is from my house not very we'll be there in a minute and I am currently overdressed my goodness I'm hot right now give the wave that's one of the things, you know what, fuck it. That's what we're gonna talk about today. The motorcycle wave. I don't know what the deal is. I'm from California, okay? I'm slowly realizing this is not gonna last the whole vlog episode or whatever the hell they're called. Anyway, I'm from California. I've been riding motorcycles for 10 years now, so I'm fair, fairly new at it. But when I bought my first bike in California, the motorcycle wave is just a common thing like I wouldn't even call it a common courtesy that's just what you do I, maybe that is a common courtesy here in Utah I've been here for six six years now it is very uncommon to get a wave back from a motorcycle and it pisses me off I don't know why I, I mean come on guys <clears throat> I don't know what the difference is around here seems to me people are less friendly here as far as motorcycle riders I don't know or they're just too reserved and that's the end of that topic I guess wow this is hard
that's a fun part of the ride right there every morning. That spot right there in the winter time sucks though, because it's maybe hard to tell on camera, but that's real steep. And these cars get stuck on that and they refuse to turn around, so they just sit there and slide backwards. And then I have to find a different way to get to work in the morning. Except for this winter. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Utah, but it has not snowed very much this winter. And that's bad for the ski industry. Um, back to the motorcycle wave thing though. What's the deal with that? If somebody knows where that originated, I would love to hear about that. Because I like doing it. I think it's cool, you know. Hey, you're on a bike, I'm on a bike. We can wave at each other. But it's weird because people in cars don't do it. Just wondering what, and why is it always the two fingers pointed to the ground? What's the deal? I always imagined it's keep both the tires on the ground. I don't know, shit. I have a feeling this is not gonna get uploaded. We're getting closer. Yeah, that should be covered in snow right now. Or at least just starting to melt out. It's not. I got too many layers on. I put the liner in my jacket because I thought I was going to be cold. It's uh, 12 o'clock right now. I just woke up a half an hour ago. <laughs> That's not a normal thing for me. I do have a family and we're usually up at 6 o'clock. So it was nice to sleep in. But uh, I just assumed it was cold outside so I put my liner and another layer under my jeans. I'm hot, but hopefully it's cold in the canyon. More trash on the road. Weird. Ah, oh, you know what? This is the first time I've ridden up the canyon this season. This motorcycle season, not ski season. And uh, I forgot. This light never picks me up. Gotta let this car behind me get closer. They're not cooperating. Hey, it worked. I feel like the fucking Michelin man. Jack, it's all poofy. All right, we're approaching the bottom of Big Cottonwood Canyon. If you're familiar with Salt Lake City and uh, skiing and snowboarding here, you'll probably recognize that 7-Eleven. 
I've been told, and this may just be a myth, but I've been told that that's the busiest 7-Eleven in the world. I find that hard to believe, but I've heard it multiple times. So here we go, turning left. Nope, that was right actually. Big Cottonwood Canyon. This is where my drive to work gets interesting. Maybe someday, if it ever snows again, I'll put the GoPro in the car. And you can see what it, it's like in the winter time. pants are all screwed up. Wasatch National Forest. Oh no, I'm on the line. I don't want people to think I'm bragging or anything, but uh, I'm pretty blessed to be able to ride this four days a week in the summertime. Because this is a fun ride. And I'm not even very good at riding a motorcycle and I still have fun with it. Maybe next time we'll mount the camera on my helmet. Cause I feel like you're missing all the stuff I'm looking at. Looks like we're going to have to try and pass this person. Got him. All right. Now it's cold. Aw, my legs are cold. I didn't wear enough clothes. That is probably the only downside to my daily ride. Down in the valley, in the summertime, it's hot as shit. And up here, it's cold. And I feel like I need a jacket that can open and close vents and stuff while I'm moving. But until somebody comes up with auto jackets, I'm just going to have to deal with it. That's called a hole in the rock. Um, that's pretty much all I got about that. Oh, and where we passed that guy, that was called Storm Mountain. Um, that gets real nasty. It was, it's hard to tell when you're on the road, but most of that you're on a bridge. And in the winter time, that whole steep section back there will freeze up, people slide. Um, I, I'd say off the road, but they don't actually go off the bridge. They just hit the barriers and oh man It can be bad coming home in the winter sometimes 
this year hasn't been so bad because it doesn't snow here anymore. Let's see if these guys will let us pass. Well, we got one. It's not the fastest bike in the world, but it's comfy. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm riding a 2012 versus 650. Um, probably my favorite bike that I've had. I've had a few. My first bike was the Jixxer 600, uh, 2007. And pretty much the only thing I missed about that bike is the noise it made. It was uncomfortable as hell. Um, and it just wasn't fun to take on long rides. But it was real fast. Had that going for it. And now we're in, it's called the S turns or the S curve. I don't know, everybody calls it something a little bit different, but a lot of the times, especially in the summer when they're doing road construction, seems like every year a truck, like a big dump truck or something hauling heavy equipment will tip over right there because they try and take that turn too fast. You can see, especially going downhill, the road's all screwed up right there. It's got big gouges in it from trucks tipping over. This is the funnest part of the uphill and I got a car in front of me. And no passing lane. Come on car, pull over. The next passing lane is quite a ways away. a little bit of snow. I think this summer's gonna be pretty bad for water in Salt Lake City and well probably all of Utah. Very short passing lane right here, but we just got snubbed. Oh well. That's probably a pretty bad place to pass anyway, really. Now these guys are going fast. They're doing 60. We're not going to pass them. Now it's getting chilly. Look at all that snow over there. It's so deep. It's not really. I was kidding. I'm glad I got all my clothes on. You do have to be careful on this road. I mean, no different than any other road if you're on a motorcycle, but 
deer, especially right here, I always see deer in this area over here. I think it's because there's this river next to us. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Um, they like to hang out right on the side of the road and deer have this nasty habit of looking a lot like everything else that's on the side of the road. It sucks. And occasionally you'll see some moose around here. I think I only saw two last summer. Don't see them in the winter time. They're doing whatever moose do in the winter. Do moose hibernate? If you know, you should let me know in the comments. <laughs> comments? Like if people are gonna watch this. So coming up here on the right, just past this big turnout, there's a road that splits off here and it goes into a neighborhood up on our right side. Um, and I got a buddy that lives up in there and it's my dream to live in that neighborhood someday. I would take you up there but it's all private and gated. I'd much rather live in the mountains than down in the valley. Alright, now we're coming up onto um, Cardiff. Some people call it Cardiff. Uh, some people call it Donut Falls. Uh, some people call it the Flats. I'm not really sure what it's actually called, but here on the right side again, we got Big Cottonwood Creek that kind of winds its way through this meadow on the side and people come up here and go fly fishing. And I see people fishing here all the time and I've never once in the six years that I worked here never seen somebody holding a fish. I'm not entirely convinced that there's actually fish in this river because I fished it before too. I never caught anything. Maybe I just suck. I don't know. Uh, next we're coming up on, it's called Spruce's Campground. You may have seen the sign back there. Um, again, on our right. Everything's on the right side in this canyon. I don't get it. Um, never actually camped there, but I hear it's a pretty cool place. There's a whole bunch of campgrounds in this canyon. Um, that one's got a big parking lot in the winter time. All the people that go backcountry skiing, they stop and park in there. And then hike the uh, mountains on the left side of the highway. taking it slow today enjoying the sunshine been cooped up all winter we'll have to see how the road is up to the shop when I get up here we're almost there um, Maybe we'll go to where I work, or not, I don't know. Um, all these houses here, uh, they're mostly on the right. There are some houses uphill on the left. Um, this whole area is called Silver Fork. Uh, another area I wouldn't mind living, but it's a little bit too close here. Everybody's packed in. And then we got just right up here this restaurant on the right is called Silver Fork Lodge um, if you want to go get some decent but incredibly overpriced food that's the place to go I guess they can charge more because the food had to go uphill oh look motorcycles wave at them see if they wave back nope Nope, see, dickheads, I don't get it. Welcome to Utah.
last two turns right here. And we are there. Look at it. That's where I turn. We'll go in here. Why not? Oh, look at that. That's Henry. <laughs> you didn't recognize me. Blinkers on. See if we can make it up the road here. I'm not too excited about this. Just take it slow. Right? Wow, it's really melted out since I was here on Saturday, one of those days. Look at these fucking guys. Ah! Yo dudes, I'll be back in a second. This is where I work, hooray, yay. Loud pieces of equipment, large pieces of equipment. It's nuts. Who's gonna pull right in the garage? Bye. Now we're back. We'll go up, see Brighton Ski Resort and then go home. What do you think about that? Ah, I got a dirt bike! See you dudes! Have fun! Motorcycles on ice. Boom. Made it. That was the only ice I had to ride on. That wasn't too bad. On Saturday, this was all ice. All the way up to the shop. It's now... Tuesday, I think. <laughs> yes, it's Tuesday. No, shit, it's Monday. I work on Tuesdays. Jet fighter mode. I got one of them helmets with the sunglasses built into it, the visor thing. It's pretty sweet. You should get one. fast well I'm cold again Well, 
as you can see, there's not very much snow when you consider that there's two ski resorts right here. Um, this time of the year, we should still have multiple, multiple feet of snow stacked up, but this winter has been pretty bad to us. Um, here on the left side, for the first time, there's something on the left. It's called Guardsman Pass. You could turn in there, and that'll take you up and over the top of the mountain range and down into Park City, Utah. Um, that road is only open in the summertime because it's too small and the turns are too tight to do snow removal on it in the winter, I guess. I don't know. And this up here is Brighton, just ahead of us, Brighton Ski Resort, Brighton Mountain Resort. Um, and the highway actually is kind of neat. It splits right here. This is a one-way road now. And it just comes up and makes a circle. You go all the way around the circle and then you're headed back downhill. Um, on the right is Solitude's Nordic Center. For those of you that like to get all duded up in your spandex and go ski around on flat ground. I'm not into that. Here's Brighton's parking lot. When we come back downhill, you get a better view of where I work. And it's all downhill from here. Legs are cold. Now we're back where we started. Uh, here on the right, you'll get a better view of the road going up to Guardsman's Pass. Right over there. It's a pretty tricky road. And once you get, it's paved all the way up to the top, but then downhill on the back side of the mountain range is like sort of paved. I think they call it chip sealed, but it's is basically gravel. It's very, very loose chip seal. And in the winter time, people go up there, park next to the gates, and then take their snowmobiles out. And snowmobiling is something that I have never gotten into. Probably because I have to work on them in the winter time. Those things suck. If you own a snowmobile, I feel sorry for you. Here on the left is Solitude Ski Resort, Solitude Mountain Resort. Um, we have a lot of backside terrain. Can't really see it all from here. I don't even know if you can see that on the camera actually, because it seems like it's not pointed that way. And this is our village, all these buildings right here that we drove by a few minutes ago.
That was bouncy. Well, as I'm sure you've noticed, we're no longer in Big Cottonwood Canyon. We're back down in the city. Headed back home. That was loud. Um, and I've run out of things to talk about a long time ago. So, hopefully, you enjoyed my first attempt at doing this because I have no idea what I'm doing. I just thought I'd share my ride with you and maybe I'll keep doing this throughout the summer. I don't know. Once a week is probably too often. Maybe every two weeks or something. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, if you have any suggestions or criticism, I guess. I don't know how you could have any though. This was flawless. Um, leave it in the comments. Um, and I will check in with you guys next time. Probably won't be in two weeks because the season's, ski season is still going until April 12th. So I don't usually ride to work when the ski season is on just because I have to come up there at 6 o'clock in the morning or well I have to be there at 6 in the morning and it is goddamn cold but anyway see you next time